Okay. Greetings and welcome. My name is Jake Rayson. I'm a forest gardener and a forest garden designer. And this is an ad hoc, a day in the life of a forest gardener, a desk bound forest gardener. I'm trying to do a little bit on the forest garden gallery every day and I just doing little videos to show people yeah, this is how I'm this is how it works. Uh, this is a list of plants. It's about 400 or so are from Martin Crawford's book Creating a Forest Garden. Whoopsie. And this is the um yeah, this is the this is the book <laughs> that we kind of base it around that we base the the list of plants from. And the idea is to take a half a dozen uh, photographs for each plant and then put them onto the gallery in the same structure as the book. Uh, so this is a, a little checklist a little checklist spreadsheet that I've made and I put people's names down and there's two sides to it. First is that there's the researching side. So um, today I am going to do the strawberry tree and then the other side is the editor side. So most of the people involved uh, volunteering are doing uh, are doing the research because it's it's kind of relatively uh, straightforward so it's that so it's good and then they'll just there's a couple of editors myself and someone else who will be doing the editing uh, but I'll walk through the whole process should take about um, hmm should take about 15 minutes if I'm quick okay so here goes so start off uh, it's the strawberry tree Arbutus unido I'm not very good with the old Latin pronunciation and uh, there's there's a set of information that we need to get together uh, forestgarden.wales forward slash gallery there's uh, it shows you how what what information to add there's for each plant there is a plant name an ID uh, the plants for a future link which is a, the online database and then a plant description <clears throat> and then for each photograph there's the URL the alt text alternative text a caption for the photograph and then the author every single image that we're using is creative commons which means it's open it's an open license so you're free to share it um, for, uh, to, for anyone else um, so every single image has to be creative commons that goes onto the forest garden gallery so uh, what we're going to do is first of all I'm going to collect the info well first of all what I'm going to do is to set up an email I'm going to email myself there's a big link on the gallery page and that's a pre-populated email that puts together all the different fields to make it easy for people to fill in so this is the plant photo details so I'm going to be doing the be doing this this is the strawberry tree. So let's start off with the strawberry tree. First off, the plant name. I'll put the scientific name in, the Latin name. The ID, just in case there's any confusion about which plant you're talking about, number 35. The link, every single item on the spreadsheet has a, has a link. I'm just gonna copy the link. There's no need to open it up. And then a plant description. Um, Oops, just open up the Plants for Future page. Uh, it's a small dis evergreen tree, uh, likes full sun to about eight meters, nine meters, I think. Yeah, nine meters by eight meters. Um, small evergreen tree, edible fruits, likes full sun. Edible fruits, likes full sun, very ornamental, and nine meters by eight meters. So I always add the uh, size in as well. Nine meters by eight meters. Okay, that's the first one. And what I always do is search for with the scientific name. So a really good website is uh, Wikimedia because all the photographs on Wikimedia are our Creative Commons license. Our beauties are oh, lovely. There we go. Fantastic. So I'll get a couple of them. Good, good, good. That looks good. So there's a nice photograph of a leaf. 
there's a nice that's a nice photograph of the plant itself so what I'll do is just open it up so command click opens it up in a in a in a new tab that's a nice photograph you can see the the, the shape of the, the tree and there's a nice one here with the fruit that's good and then one of the bark oh that's good 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 that'll do for now one two three four and then I'll have a look here as well in Flickr so with Flickr you can filter the uh, filter the photographs so that they're using Creative Commons yeah 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 here we go so under license click on the license all Creative Commons and it will filter out all the Creative Commons photographs and we'll get a close-up as well of the fruit because it's so amazing it's pretty cool Mm -hmm. I think my computer is struggling a bit. Um, there's also a Google search and you can search for Creative Commons license under, uh, under tools and licensing. Um, I won't bother because I've got enough photographs and another really good website is Pixabay which has a lot of um, a lot of really good uh, quality photographs in there as well very often you get a photograph it's a good photograph but it's not particularly you know it's not particularly clear so that's cool Oh dear, they're kind of crashing. <laughs> Grinding to a halt. Okay. So let's get a move on then. I'll just keep I'll just press on with this. So this is the page, this is the URL. Uh this is the flower, which is great. So um small white tree flowers small white small uh, small white blossom caption blossom and then author uh huh the author is down here cool that's that one the next one is this that's good it shows the size of the um, tree <coughs> oh dear there we go um, small tree against white house caption rounded form of strawberry tree author right, they're gonna have Wow. I think that one, that's good. That's just a close up. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's get the third one. Okay, fruit and fruit. Just seeing which is the best. That's actually not too good. I won't bother with that. Because you want to be able to see the fruit on the tree itself. You get an idea. That's 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 pretty good. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go back a page. And this is it. You just have to figure out for yourself what the uh, what the best quality photograph is. <laughs> Okay, because I like that one. But also I think one on the tree showing you the leaf and it being in focus. That's great. That one's really good because it's the actual form of the leaf, which is fantastic. And I like that one. And that's good and that's good there we go that's plenty so um yeah if you're in doubt collect more and um, the editor will always reduce the number okay so how many have i got one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> this is what happens I ought to make some choices actually. I don't want to go for the whole lot. So I've got that one. That's good. I like that one. Um, keep that one. This is what this space is how you spend most of your time is figuring out like that one. Now I've got to make a choice then between the flowers. That's great. That's pretty amazing. So I'll get rid of the other the other one. I'll get rid of that one. So that's Three, four, leaf, fruit, flower and fruit, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good with the leaf and the fruit together. Good, that's seven. Lovely. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really worried that my um oh, of seven. Okay, so we've got seven photographs. That's that's fine. One, two, three. Copy. Right. Copy paste to Four, five, six, seven. Good. Three. So I'm just adding spaces for more photographs. So that's the tree, small tree in the house, which is good. This is the fruit. Now, <laughs> ah, don't think I'm going for that one. No, I'm not. I'm going to get rid of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, not seven. Good. 
Okay. So, Bark's get a move on. Bark. Rough, vertical, flaky bark. Uh, bark of the strawberry tree. Author. Kenpai. So we get rid of those two. Donk. I'll will. I won't do the editing today. This is this is dragging on a little bit. Okay, and when you're doing Flickr, you just need that bit there. Um, you don't need the rest of in photo list. So the URL is just the first part of the URL. It's fine. Alt text is a tip of. Green fresh growth of um, evergreen leaves. Caption evergreen leaves of strawberry tree. Author Manuel M. V. Okay. Oh, that's a brilliant photo. So there's that one. Alt text close up of prickly, of spiky, of bobbly <laughs> red fruit. Caption ripe fruit of strawberry tree. Author Manfred D. Go, cool. that's that one. And then the last two, this is showing the photo. This is a lovely photograph as well, actually. So it shows the leaves and the flower. This is brilliant. This really describes the plant very well. Um, red fruit and closed, what do they call them? Drooping, drooping, drooping white flowers on the tree. Uh, ripe fruit and flowers of strawberry tree. Author And then finally, we have, oh, good Lord, oh, what's it doing? Let me just, URL, um, bobbly red. Ripe red and unripe yellow fruit on tree. Uh, ripe and unripe strawberry tree fruit. Author Lotus Johnson. There we go. So those are the six photographs, some very nice photographs. Um, and I'll do the I'll do the image editing later because it's 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 been going on for a little bit now. I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, plant photo details. I'll send it to myself. Kabang! Off it goes. There we go. And now we can see.
I've already done that one. I will get my own email. Yay, I've sent myself an email and then all the details are in here. So for the next stage of this, I'll go through resizing the images and putting them up. There we go. Hope that was um, entertaining and mildly, mildly educational. Uh, all right, I'll be out on a uh, live stream tomorrow, planting an apple tree. So tomorrow, Wednesday, 10 o'clock, Greenwich Mean Time. I shall see you then. Cheers, bye.